Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to add our data to the database. So in the previous video, we had created this form and we had added validation. So if I click on submit, we can see that all fields are compulsory is displayed over here. And uh, if you enter some invalid name, it will say that the name is invalid. And uh, if we enter an invalid email ID, it will say please enter a valid email and uh, if you enter a valid email and and if you submit we can see that your message was sent so in this video we're going to actually send the data to our database so let's get started <laughs> So first of all, we need to create our database. We need to have uh, the fields for full name, email, message, and also a field for ID. So let's go to our PHP My Admin. So go to localhost slash PHP My Admin, and you will land on this page. So go to databases over here. Type the name of the database over here, or you can just go over here, click on New, and uh, name our database so we'll name our database contact me and click on create and in our database we need to create a table so we'll call our table contact info we'll have four columns and we'll click on go now we'll name each of the columns the first one will be called id and uh, we will leave the type as int and uh, We'll also set it as auto increment. So whenever a new data is inserted, uh, it will have a unique ID and it will be auto incremented. And the next field is called name and the type should be var care and we will set the length as 255 characters. And for the email, we will set the type as war care and uh, a length of 255 characters and at last we have the message and we'll set the type as text so that we can have any number of uh, characters now just click on save and we can see our table has been saved these are the different columns now let's go to our code and start writing the logic for inserting the data into our database this is our code that we have written in the previous video. Here we are validating the fields in our contact form. So we have to write the code for insert into this else block over here. So here we are just uh, printing the message. Your message was sent. But here we will actually send the message. So let's start writing our code. It would be better if you split this code into different functions and uh, that will make it more readable but just for learning purposes we will write everything uh, right here but first of all let's check whether we can connect to the database so to connect to the database you need to uh, know some info about the database so we'll create some variables for that we'll create a variable called db host and uh, our host is localhost because we are on a local machine if you are on a live server uh, type the name of the uh, of that host then the next thing is the db user our user is root if you are a different user type the name of that user over here by default xamp will have the default user as root and uh, the db password and it will be blank by default in xamp if you have a password type it right here and uh, then the name of the database the name of a database is uh, contact me right here so we'll type contact me over here now we are going to be using pdo to connect to the database so let's write this code in a try catch block so that you can catch any exceptions db connection field e get message and in our try block here uh, first of all we need to have something called the data source name so we'll create a new variable for that dsn and since we are using mysql we have to type the following line of code so type mysql 
colon host equals and uh, then we will concatenate our db host variable and then we have to have a semicolon and then db name equals and then we will concatenate our database name now we'll create a new pdo object so we'll name the object as pdo and it will be equal to new pdo and here we have to pass the dsn the db user and uh, the db password now we'll echo connection successful so let's see whether our connection was successful we'll just refresh our page and we can see connection successful is displayed over here so if we just change this to something different and if you refresh our page we can see that uh, it has an error so we know that our connection is being successfully made so we'll just remove the message from here all right so now we'll write the code for inserting the data so here we'll create a new variable called sql and we'll write our query in here so the query for inserting data is uh, insert into and then the table name so our table name is uh, contact info so here you have to type contact info and uh, what are the values that you want to store so we will store the name email and uh, message and then you have to type values and uh, here we will use uh, named parameters so you can directly type a name for your name so we will just type name over here and for the email we'll type email and uh, for the message we'll type message so that's it for the query now you have to prepare a statement so we'll type stmt and uh, then pdo prepare and uh, you have to pass the query now after that you have to execute the statement execute and here you have to pass the values so these are the placeholders and we have to pass the values over here so we'll create an array and uh, here we will type name and uh, arrow because we are using an array and the name will be this name variable over here so we'll just type dollar sign name and the email will be email and the message will be message so that's it for inserting the data into the database now we'll just check whether it works so we'll refresh our page and we'll type some name over here john doe for the email we'll type john at gmail.com for the message we'll type this is my message and we'll click on submit you can see your message was sent we will check our database whether the data is inserted so we'll go to the database and uh, contact info and here we can see we have the id we have the name email and message so our data was inserted let's check it one more time so we'll type some details over here We'll click on submit we'll refresh our database so here we can see the data and the id and um, everything is inserted correctly so this is basically how you insert data into a database using pdo so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day